Hello, xin chào and welcome back to Joshita at Travel. Today, I'm going to give you a screen recording of what happened to me on April 1st. So, this is just a screen recording which was uh, done on my mobile because I couldn't take any uh, video. I forgot to turn on my camera in the car. So, that's the, the route plan. That's the route I have uh, traveled on 1st of April. And this is where the incident happened. So, obviously, you can see can see there uh, that's the time 8 uh, 31 I'm just uh, preparing uh, to record these screens and these visuals are from my laptop uh, screenshot from my laptop so just to compare how are they different so <clears throat> let's begin the journey so for all of you guys uh, as you know all the smartphone nowadays are coming with the screen recording option so you can go into the maps and then click to the timeline and you can take the date that's the first of april so it gives you the route plan on that day uh, your timeline of uh, your travel on that particular day so i begin my journey in Tangen and and back to Tangen, uh, that is the, uh, the trail of where I have traveled. So particularly today we are going to talk about what happened to me at this particular junction where I was not supposed to take a left turn. As you know it was a, it was a, it was on Thursday so the traffic was a little bit uh, higher in a higher way like uh, it was totally jam-packed so I was worried that I might be uh, late so I I planned to take a left deviation so that uh, I could find a shortcut and uh, reach a bit earlier so at this particular junction I I, I couldn't see any signboards uh, because um, there were a lot of trucks in front of me so I couldn't see the uh, no uh, left turn uh, sign marks by the traffic police so I think I, I could take the left turn and I, as soon as I turned left uh, I saw the signboard which says no entry by the time I have entered into that particular street uh, so I was thinking why no other cars are going in and then I realized I'm into a one way so I traveled a further little bit inside a little further and then I saw someone is following me that was the traffic police in his white motorbike chasing me so I knew that he was following me so I didn't go really fast I was just very slow I knew he was targeting me so what I did was to, to pull over as you know <coughs> uh, I was I was really yeah really worried about uh, you know getting on time so as usual when you are pulled over by a cop, you need to take all the documents and, and and take your license and everything. I'm getting ready, and I open the door. Then, I, as soon as I close the door, I I bow down uh, to respect, and then I walked forward. Of course, I I had to wear a mask. That's the protocol. And then I showed him my resident card. Uh, and he read it and he said yo you're from India I said yes so then he asked me the first question was can you speak Vietnamese and then I told him in Vietnamese yeah Thai uh, chuk chuk big chuk chuk Thai 
So he was going through all my papers uh, and everything was uh, perfect. But he told me that I have uh, broken the law and I knew what he was uh, trying to tell me. And he asked me to turn around and get back to the intersection uh, to show me that it's uh, one way. Uh, it was no restriction, I mean, I mean uh, no entry. So I followed him right exactly to the intersection. You can see uh, that's the a 90 degree angle where I parked my car. Uh, it, is, it was right in front of uh, a mobile shop. Uh, you could see in that intersection there is a small uh, traffic uh, uh, umbrella which is uh, uh, there are some uh, switches to uh, operate these traffic signals uh, so that they can control the uh, crowd or the traffic. So I parked my car right there and I walked up to him um, and I was waiting for his verdict. So by the time there was another senior cop standing right there controlling the traffic and he has uh, told me that I have uh, violated the law so my license will be suspended for two months. So I said, sir, yes, of course I'm, I'm wrong. I'm sorry about that. Um, so please uh, do some consideration. And before that, I mentioned uh, to him that I would agree whatever uh, ticket uh, you're giving me so that I could uh, pay it uh, to the court or anyway. But um, he, he didn't do anything like that. Instead, he was like uh, waiting uh, for a, a little longer uh, to make some decisions. That was like, I have never thought this will happen, but I told him the truth. So he believed me, of course, and that was the truth. And he, I was like, I'm in heaven. Because, you know, where can you find such a traffic police who understands your feelings, uh, it, it, no matter what is your language and where you come from? And then he, he, he responded to it in a human way. So I was a bloody happy, I'm sorry to use the word. And, uh, you know, I was thinking this is a country where you can see uh, people are, you know, very true. So a big salute uh, to that traffic police officers, knowing the situation and uh, letting me uh, go. So I, I was uh, very, very, very happy, you know, that was on April 1st. You guys can understand, believe it or not, this was on April 1st. I'm not making up. <laughs> so this is what has happened. And I do respect them. Uh, they have a tough job and, a, and a, a very big salute to these traffic officers who, who were there uh, even though I'm a foreigner and since I've told them the truth they have responded in the same way so be always true to whoever you are talking and who you are conveying the message to so that they can understand uh, even, even if you are uh, not able to speak the language so there are people like this who are good so i'm very happy uh, to let you know this is what happened uh, on 1st of april in between 10 uh, 20 to 10 40. it took me just 20 minutes to uh, to settle this uh, problem and i wasn't when i reached uh, uh, to my destination i wasn't late I was right on time. I could have another 15 to 30 minutes uh, to, uh, to relax and rest and get back to class. So guys, uh, this is what happened with me. Uh, I think the video was a little bit longer because I, I had to explain everything to you uh, since uh, what happened to me. So I hope you like this video. If 
you liked the video don't forget to like subscribe and share it and thank you very much for watching Joshita at travel so see you again in another video goodbye